what's up everyone frank valkyria yes here i am for another video we work we keep going always until i'm gonna reach hundred thousand subscribers and then i'm gonna keep going anyhow that's the project so if you're watching this video don't just watch click the notification bell and subscribe don't leave don't leave uh, otherwise my imaginary battle is gonna hunt your dreams for the rest of your life i'm joking i'm joking cheap gandalf uh, you know sometimes i get into my role playing or cheap gandalf and i think i can make spells but i can't but watch out uh, i could be lying let's go let's go right away <laughs> This is a super lovely discovery that you guys sent me. Esto nos concierne a todos. Si tienen un pinche primo judicial, un primo primo delegado, I really enjoyed the first song I reviewed of them. There was so much going on that I liked in that song. I loved the groove, I loved the intention. And I asked you like send something a little bit more electrified. I want to hear how they sound more electrified. And here we go. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Commercials. Well, right off the bat, actually, this is not what I was expecting, honestly. This is way quieter and mellower than I was expecting. Uh, it's more almost like a rap. Uh, and uh, from what I hear, some words, uh, it seems like heavily... Uh, focused on social issues you know I, I hear I, I'm, I'm hearing something to do with the police and the government uh, so I assume it the, the meaning it's imbued with social issue right now <laughs> I love it that actually I just realized they have GoPros attached to the mic stands. So I was wondering if they're doing a live uh, w with those different angles of the camera. And if they are, eh, super awesome YouTuber, you guys. Eh? I see what you're doing. Um, the song is very much, uh, very much a rap. Uh, very much a rap. And uh, I also like the combination of English and Spanish. Wow, there's almost a dash. There's almost a dash of rage against the machine in the way they do the singing here. If they, uh, you know, uh, like hopped a little bit the tempo of the song. It's like a funkier Latino rage against the machine. Super nice. Though. But 
especially the way this guy sings really reminds me a little bit of Rage Against the Machine. Of course, Rage Against the Machine is a little bit angrier, the, the singer, but yeah. I mean, I understand this type of song, especially when uh, there is uh, such a strong uh, call for action, in a sense. You know, the, the, the melody, it's very catchy and almost sounds like a football um, chorus type of thing. You know, the type of uh, songs that in, in a stadium you will hear people sing. Uh, it catchy in that way, but when it's Im imbued with, uh, you know, with this meaning and social, social issues, uh, I, I think it becomes uh, it becomes very interesting. It becomes very interesting uh, that the people will join in and making it a choir, making it like a, an anthem, you know, like a sort of football anthem type of thing. Um, it's, it's quite powerful, I have to say, quite powerful. And uh, I'm I'm also curious to, uh, but. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'll try not to, you know, I'll try not <laughs> to get political. But of course, there must be reasons why those guys are so focused on the, on the political issues. <laughs> those bars very much you know like those sort of, you know, like stadium chants you know very simple but effective I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not so impressed about this song uh, regarding the composition of this song. Yeah, strictly. Uh, strictly talking about the composition and the instrumentation, I'm not so impressed, but uh, I'm sure the song has a really deep, powerful meaning. So I should look into more the, the you know, the, the contest and the words. Um, but for the rest, it's a, it's a very simple song. I really would love to hear something more groovy like the, the previous song that I reacted to. So if you know, send it over, we react. And uh, still, very interesting, very, very interesting to see what, um, what has value uh, in, in, in Mexico uh, when it comes to those type of bands and why so it's super fascinating to see all those facets of different areas and how they com the, the bands and the heart communicates with the audience and creates a sense of identity or belonging and so on and so forth so i just came from rata blanca from argentina to this we're really discovering a lot and so keep that coming keep that going subscribe hit the notification bell every now and then i do get lost but this is all improvised what do you want huh if i was if i knew everything huh if i knew everything i would put rockets into space maybe not even rockets because that's not an efficient way of sending stuff into space we are still bound with explosion driven engines which is primitive but still we are figuring out we are figuring out ways where we can win the force of gravity that touch ourselves and move into the cosmos in new ways eh? maybe anti-gravity who knows anyway for the moment let's stick to youtube always spread love ciao wow i want to know who got all the way to this point and heard this rant huh i want to know if you are that one leave a comment you won the prize